Hey folks, Ray from DCRamerica.com here. Today with some cool news from Pioneer as well as Wahoo Fitness on integration with their power meters and new power meters and new head units. Kind of cool stuff. So I just got back from a ride, which is why I'm all kitted up. Uh, and I've got just a few minutes to run through this really quick here. I'm at Interbike 2018. It's now in Reno, Tahoe, as opposed to Vegas, uh, which makes riding a whole hell of a lot better. Uh, but what's important here is actually riding with the new stuff. Um, so there's basically four new things that I've got here. Number one is we'll start with like the least exciting, which sorry, it's kind of least exciting. Oh, sunglasses. Number one is new power meters. So Pioneer has been making power meters for quite a while now, uh, like four or five years, I think. Um, and in a lot of ways, they don't really get the respect they deserve because they make really solid power meters. I think it's partly because their branding of the power meters, like the brand model name stuff is confusing as all heck. And the distribution is a little bit wonky outside of the US and Asia. Um, but pricing wise, they're really, really solid. Accuracy wise, they're really, really solid. And you know, they're used on, on the world tour teams, which doesn't really mean much in the grand scheme of things, but that at least kind of sets the stage a little bit. So what's new about this one? Bluetooth Smart, um, and that's really important. So up until now, Pioneer's only had Amp Plus power meters, and they have both an Amp Plus and an Amp variant of the broadcast. Um, but it didn't broadcast Bluetooth Smart, so if you wanted to use it with apps like Zwift or Trainer Road over iOS, you couldn't do that, and that kind of sucked. Now it does. It's really as simple as that. They've also added uh, additional waterproofing, so you can now use like a, a pressure water hose thing directly on it for cleaning. No problems there. Speaking of water, if you hear like the waterfalls, I'm sorry, this is the only place that was out of the sun. Um, but that's cool news. That's gonna start shipping here in November. Essentially the same prices as the past. I'll plop those on the screen right now. Uh, initially starting with Shimano, Durace, and Altegra, and then we'll move on to their other cranks as they support. Uh, the way Pioneer power meters work from a kind of buying standpoint is you can either buy the complete power meter built into it with the crank set ready to go. You just buy it, put it on your bike, you're done or you can send your own crank sets into them uh, and they'll affix the power meter to it. I don't know if you can hear that, but the fat ones just started dancing. Hold on, it's dancing. I'm not kidding, folks. It's like the Bellagio fat ones, but not. How long is it gonna last? Okay, so the dancing is complete, and now I'm on to the next item, which is their new head unit here. Uh, so this little unit, you know, one of the complaints I've always had in the past about Pioneer head units is that they've been a little bit clunky and not really necessarily terribly awesome. They also lack a lot of features compared to a lot of the competitors. Uh, this aims to solve this. So this is a non-touch screen, um, so it's just a regular screen. Uh, got three buttons in the front, buttons on the side. Um, takes a lot of the data metrics of their past head units and goes ahead and, and it puts them in a, a little bit cleaner form factor. Uses a Wahoo Bolt compatible mount in the back, so you can go ahead and use any of the Wahoo mounts or any compatible mounts like Barfly, K-Edge, all that kind of stuff with it, which is super, super cool. It has mapping on it, which is awesome. Didn't have that pass. It's color. Supports all their advanced pedaling metrics as well, so that's kind of like equivalent to the Garmin Cycling Dynamics, but better, quite frankly. It's got way more detail. It records way, way faster. Um, so really cool stuff there. Uh, again, I'll just do a quick run through right now of the head unit so you can kind of see what it is in my hands. Um, now you've got the three buttons on the bottom here that you can angle through or you can go and repeat through stuff. So you can go left there to change different data pages one direction. You can use this one to go different pages a different direction. You'll see here the mapping screen. Now in my case, the mapping screen isn't quite enabled. Um, so I am wherever this map is right there the entire ride, but it's cool because the rest of the GPS functions work just fine. So I was able to go ahead and check those out. Um, so if we scroll through this here, these are all pages you can customize. Um, you'll see that you can put a crap ton of data on there. And that's something that Pioneer has always been really good about. Uh, tons and tons of data. So if you go back here, these are some of the different pedaling efficiency metrics, left, right balance, efficiency, uh, power left, right, efficiency left, right. I mean, there's tons and tons of this kind of stuff. You can really, really customize a lot of it. You can see just my distance there, my ride, my time. Uh, this is the power profile. And some of these I can probably overlay. Um, you may have already seen me overlay the different screens while I was riding itself. It's a little bit harder to use a camera in that case, of course. Uh, seeing, you know, real-time TSS, all this kind of stuff is like, just neat to see this live on these pages. It's definitely very, very data-driven. Um, MMP, it's awesome to see that. That's basically like your critical power, kind of. Uh, so the idea that you can see your mean maximal power over the course of the ride, real-time in a graph, that's pretty darn cool. Um, this is super, super neat. And so this allows you to see not just where your friends are. So you can follow uh, two other people while you're riding. 
And what's neat, you can see them on a map just like you can on a Garmin or Wahoo device, but you can also see their actual metrics. You can see whether they're like slacking off or they're kicking your ass, um, and you can see them live. Like you can imagine this would be really cool with some of your friends uh, to be like, dude, it's time for you to take a, a turn on the frontier. Um, so that's pretty darn neat. And then of course here we've got like the mother load of all the metrics in the world. And again, this is just kind of a customized screen that you can use. Uh, cue sheet for turn by turn directions there um, from a napping standpoint. And if I go back into the menu system, I can press this left button right there. I can get to the menus. I just go select and iterate through these like this. Uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, it's you got it. The buttons are very, very similar to the Wahoo uh, Bolt. In fact, they're almost identical to the Wahoo Bolt um, layout wise. You got three in the bottom, two on the side, one on this side here. But it works. Uh, speaking of the Wahoo Bolt, talk about the mount on the back real quick. It is again the exact same as the Wahoo mounts as part of that partnership that the two companies have together there, uh, which is kind of nice. Okay, and last but least, we've got something beyond their own head unit, which is integration with Wahoo's head units. So you have the Wahoo Bolt and the Wahoo Element. Um, and you know, these work with like power meters, no problem, Amp Plus, but too smart. But they haven't displayed any advanced pedaling metrics. And now that changes. Um, starting up in early October, you'll have these units that will have firmware on it that goes and allows them to integrate with the Pioneer power meters into view and record and upload all of those advanced pedaling metrics. So on the ride, I was able to actually see that on these units here. I primarily use the bolt on my ride. Super clean, super clear. And then what's going to happen is I'll be able to upload that to the CycleSphere website if I want to, to go ahead and look at that data on their own website or to any other third party website as well. So you're not limited to anything. Anything that Wahoo supports, you can upload to, but now you're going to be able to upload to the Pioneer website as well. Uh, the price for the Pioneer head unit is $349, which is incredibly competitive for a mapping-based unit um, with a full color screen on it. Obviously, these stay the same price as they are. You just get the free firmware update, and we already talked about the pricing for the power meter. With that, there's your first look at good stuff from Interbike 2018. Definitely whack that subscribe button at the bottom there for more Interbike goodness. It's going to be a pretty good week. Uh, we've got lots of stuff, both Interbike and kind of like not really Interbike, but it's just sort of stealing the show. So, anyways found it interesting, rock the like button, subscribe button, and I appreciate it. Have a good one.